Hey everyone, and welcome to my list of the top 10 games of 2016. This will eventually be part of a larger video of games of the decade, so each of these individual videos won't be as long as my 2019 list was. I'll be giving you 9 games I liked from the year, and then a breakdown of my game of the year. The only games on this list are ones that I've actually played, and my game of year can only be a game I've finished. With all that being said, here's my list. Honourable Mentions Firewatch. What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Super hot. Dark Souls 3. Farron's Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. Uncharted for a thief's end. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. Yeah, he's meant for this life. Oh, oh, crap! Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Shame we're not on the same side. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. So, are you ready to seek your fortune? Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Everywhere. What? This is not looking right at all. We should abort the run. Let me roll with it, Noah. We do not mess with Gabriel Kruger. I need the script. <sighs> it's not like I can stop you anyway. Icarus, keep us updated on any changes outside. Valhalla. Inside. Tyson Fall 2. You think we can survive through this, BT? Trust me. You and your Titan must be destroyed. Woo! Now we're talking! Some 
Final Fantasy XV. The king was found dead. Lies. If you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. My game of the year for 2016, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. For one average teenager, lured by a mysterious message from the stranger, the teenager logged Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is a turn-based RPG similar in style to the Persona series where you play as Iba, a teenager corrupted whilst in the digital world and turned into a semi-digital being. To restore yourself to personhood, you must solve cases as part of the Karemi Detective Agency, all while trying to find the cure to the Eden Syndrome with which you've been afflicted. You do this by capturing Digimon, talking to people within the Eden chat rooms, exploring Tokyo, and eventually killing a god. I was never super into Digimon to be honest, but this really piqued my interest and it was exactly what I needed when I got it. It's a solid RPG with an interesting world, hundreds of creatures to use with designs varying from adorable to edgy as hell, and a fun turn-based combat system. It does have a pretty high difficulty spike right near the end, and it's pretty long, but that kind of comes with the territory with JRPGs. I really enjoyed this game, and I still miss it often enough that for the longest time I used its PS4 theme just so I could hear the music. There's also now a complete edition available on PC and Switch, which adds new monsters and features from the semi-sequel, so there's no excuse not to give this a try. A part of the teenager's mind data was destroyed by an eater, a monster that emerged out of thin air, leaving their body half digitized, almost cyborg like. That's where I came in. Oops, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Kyoko Kuremi, just your average cyber detective. It was meeting the teenager that first got me involved in this crazy affair. Incidents committed by hackers using Digimon in cyberspace. Bizarre changes in the real world. A single mastermind behind these crimes. When the world is in crisis... So, do you agree? If you don't, let me know what you consider your game of the year for 2016 in the comments below. I think making these is getting easier on me, but one of the main issues now is just the sheer render time. It takes somewhere between 1 and 5 hours to render this dependent, it's kind of insane. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of these too. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth